Hello, David here, and welcome to a tutorial on exporting and importing a robot program in Visual Components. When following any tutorial, check the lesson in the Visual Components Academy. And if the download files option appears, you can download the example files. Let's start by setting up our layout. From the Home tab, in the eCatalog and My Models folder, we'll drag and drop this saved layout, which includes a robot with an existing program that we want to use for this tutorial. To add a saved layout to your My Models folder, select the File tab and click Save As, and browse to select your My Models folder, then give the file a name. Here we're calling it Export Import Program, as we created it for this tutorial, and we then click Save. And now the saved layout is accessible from My Models in the eCatalog. However, the file name is a bit too long to appear in the eCatalog view. So we'll right click on it, select Edit Metadata, and add a shorter name. Perhaps Pick and Place is good, since it's what the robot program does. Then switching to the Program tab, and with the Jog tool enabled, if we select the robot, we can see the motion statements in the program editor on the left. And if we click through the statements, we can see the robot perform the motions. And if we reset and run the simulation, we can see the robot pick up the box and place it on the pallet. And you'll notice that we added the option of a trace line via a binary output statement in the robot program. In this example, signals 1 to 16 signal grasp and release actions, while signal 17 to 32 signal trace on and off actions. So we use a set binary output statement, set the output port to 17, and the output value checked sets it to true, which starts the trace signal action. And we add the same again, leaving the output value unchecked, setting it to false, which stops the trace signal. And then checking the signal actions for output port 17, we set the material to red. And moving the position of the statements in the list controls when the red trace signal action starts and when it stops. And new in Visual Components 4.6 is the ability to right click on a statement and toggle it on or off. So if we want to, we can disable the trace signal action and leave the statements in place, should we wish to toggle them back on later. So now we want to export this robot program and use it for another six axis robot, which is similar in size and reachability. So from the subprogram section of the program editor on the left, we'll click export program, add a descriptive name and save the XML file to import it later. Then we'll go to the Home tab, and from the eCatalog, under Models by Type, and then Robots, from the KUKA folder, we'll choose the KR12 R1810, and drag it into our layout. And use the PNP tool to move the Suction Cup Gripper tool to this robot, and leave Joint A5 at the 0 degrees position until we have set up the tool. And now we need to move the first robot out of the way. But first, let's use its position as a reference point. We could use the Move tool and drag the robot, which is fine. But instead, with the Move tool and the robot selected, let's use the Snap tool and select Origin on the right, and then selecting the base of the other robot, we'll snap it to that position. And now we can move the first robot out of the way. And let's use the 3D World toolbar on the left to enable frame types for robot tools and robot positions, and then enable the frame types option. So now when we move the robot, we can see how the location of its related motion statements also change. Actually, before we start working on this new robot, 
If we don't want both robot programs to run, returning to the program tab and using the jog tool, we can select the first robot and from the program editor, holding shift, select the first and last robot motion statement and then right click and use the toggle statement option to turn them off. Then selecting the other robot from subprograms on the left, we'll use the import program option and select the XML file we saved earlier. And now the tool frame needs to be adjusted so it's similar to how it was on the other robot. When we set the frame types to be visible using the 3D World toolbar on the left, the default text size is perhaps a bit small. So selecting the file tab and then options and display, we can edit the frame label size. Let's add a value of 17 and click OK. So now things are a bit easier to see. And then selecting the jog panel on the right, click the cogwheel icon to modify the tool. And using the snap tool, select snap type frame on the right, then select the gripper TCP tool frame. So the TCP is now on the front of the gripper cups. And since we had joint 5 on the other robot set to 90 degrees, we can apply the same here. And clicking play or save state from the simulation controls will save it so that the change is applied when we reset the simulation. So now, with all the tool frame adjustments made, we can run the simulation and check how our imported program is running. And this concludes the lesson. Thank you for watching.